Hello, King. I know you play Titanfall 2. Absolutely one of the greatest FPSs on this earth. But it could be better. Imagine if you can make anyone into anything, from what they are into what they can become. You have the power, but you have not the time. Join me on this quest to learn, to laugh, to love, and to like and subscribe. So, we are going to be starting with the basics. Now, for, you want lesion and you're going to want a skin tool, Titanfall 2 and your skin tool. You're going to want Gimp, Blender, if you want to go above and beyond, and of course, the game. So, first things first, please save this folder. This is the Titanfall 2 folder that contains all of the files that you're going to need if you want to reset your skins. So you go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Titanfall 2, R2, PAX, and Win64. That is going to give you the PC stream, a one-star pack, and the, the all the way down. So all those ones, you take them all, right? For the, if you just want to, if you just want to reset a skin, that that's like a gun skin. You can just take this PC stream start pack, but if it's Prime Titans, you're gonna need those other uh, those other numbered PC streams. So please, this is very important that you please save save back up this folder and save those copy those files somewhere else. Now we are going to be making a gold skin, gold car. And so the first thing you want to do is open up Legion and hit. Click on settings. This will open out the settings and you're going to go into have the output well, directory. That's where all the, the files gonna be. And you're gonna also want to put that to PNG. You're gonna wanna set that to PNG from DDS. So, you know, in the same same uh, place where we got it's the Win64, we got those backup files. So we're actually looking for a common, common.r pack. These are where all the gun skins and basically everything is. All right, so then we, you know, open that up, search up car, and we're looking for car SMG skin 31. Click on that, click export selected, which is right down there. We, we have all the, all the files in there. We're gonna open up GIMP, and we're just gonna jump right into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that car albedo that looks like that. That's our color, the basic color texture. And we're gonna go to edit, we're gonna fill with BG color, the black. We're just gonna have the whole thing black, okay? Don't worry about it. <laughs> so while that's black, we're just gonna export into another folder. Be any folder, you know. We're just gonna, you know, just gonna rename it as car gold color, right? We're gonna hit export, and it's just gonna export there, right? Uh, don't need to save that. That's just the XCF file. Don't worry about it. Uh, now we get this car specular. This is gonna be our shininess texture. We're gonna go colors, colorize, and we're gonna have a very, very light yellow, like a very, almost like a beige color, right? If we have our yellow too. Uh, juicy, it's not gonna look good. It's gonna look like piss. Okay, so we're going to make sure that it's like very light, like almost white. There we go. So that's the color that we're gonna use for a gold specular. So as I said, this is our uh, reflectiveness. If you have the color black, it's gonna be a lot more reflective. All that you know, you're gonna see is that specular. You know, the, the black color is not gonna be shown. So just export that, call it gold spec, and we'll be on our way. Exit out all the stuff, and then we head to glossiness. We're gonna head to glossiness. So the glossiness texture is basically how rough our texture is gonna be. It is the roughness or the smoothness. So um, right off the bat, we can definitely see that this is uh, 
you know, very, very messy, right? You see the fingerprints there? So the gray parts are gonna be the rough parts. The light, the white parts are gonna be the more smooth kind of, you know, uh, places of the texture. So since I don't, I just want, I have like a lot of places smooth, I'm gonna get the cavity map. I'm gonna put it on top of this and I'm going to click, select Shift O or uh, that right there, select my color tool. And I'm going to click on the white part of this map uh, on top of the cavity map. I click on the white part of that cavity map, right? Now that I clicked on that, it's gonna select all the white parts. I click on that eye and then I click on the gloss texture and I'm gonna go over here in this black square and I'm going to get a gray texture. 4C, 4C, 4C is pretty good, but you can use any gray texture that you feel is good, light or dark. So I can click on edit. I will change all that stuff into gray and there we go. This is our texture. That's gonna be the glossiness. It's gonna be smooth everywhere. Then I'm gonna take the X, go to color, go to exposure, and I'll make it light. I'm gonna make it very, very light, or not too light. You don't wanna make it too shiny. You just wanna, you just wanna make a, like a very, uh, kind of a rough gold, all right? It's shiny, but it's not too reflective. And so I'm gonna export it as gloss, no problems. Discard changes, and there we go, we got everything now. We have the rest of the stuff. Now this we don't need to change, but do you need to learn about it. I believe that is really beneficial for you to learn what these other ones do. So without further ado, ambient occlusion. This is basically how the lights will kind of interact with your with your texture, right? The the whole how the lights bounce off for your texture. And you know, if you don't have this, it's not gonna be look good. So the cavity map is basically the uh, cracks and crevices that your skins have. So it's gonna, hide, it's gonna highlight all those little tiny uh, cracks. And then the illumination texture or emission texture is basically what makes your skin glow. So go crazy with this one, but not too crazy because you don't want your skin to be too bright or else you won't see anything. <laughs> it's just gonna be a huge glare. Normal mapping is the bumps and crevices uh, not so much like a car, but like the cavity. It's more like just, it's just like, you know, the little bumps and crevices that are simulating bumps, but are not really that, not, not really the, not really the, um, the actual model. It's, it's pretending to be a model. Uh, and then we have the car metal. This is the metal texture, but there, we don't need to really pay attention to this one because it's not really a way to put this inside the game. It's just, you know, there to, yeah, get a metal texture. Now, we're gonna put, get our skins into a zip file. Go open up the skin tool. The first thing we're gonna do is set the game path, right? So we don't forget, set the game path to wherever your folder your game is. So like I have it in Steam, I have it in, you know, this, this Steam common, Steam apps common, uh, Titanfall 2, that's where you set your game path. It'll set the, the uh, .exe. So, um, anyway, so, then we got that, we go to tools, skin pack maker, and here we go. We click on these little three dots and we get our output folder. This is where the, fold, the zip file's gonna show up in. We're gonna go down to the strap dot menu, gonna click on the car, type in the skin name, call it gold tutor, call it gold tutor, something like that. And so we got gold tutor there. And now we're gonna just, you know, put specular, specular, glossiness, glossiness, the color, the normal, the whole nine yards, it's all gonna be there. See, ambient occlusion, just put that in there. Cavity. Yep. And when you have all that, you're gonna go back here and you hit generate. You hit generate, right? And that's just gonna, you know, take a little time there. So, generate success, okay? And now you have your skin. Now, next thing you wanna do is you wanna get these skins inside the game. So, you click on those three dots by skin file, then you click on import skin, and it's gonna be in there. Yep, and there is our gold skin. Yes, there is a part two probably coming, probably, but, uh, <laughs> cause there's 
there's a lot of there's a there's a lot of assets that uh, you can't use a skin tool for, or at least not not everything. Uh, like North Star, you're going to find a whole bunch of red uh, red X's by your by your North Star uh, your original North Star skin, and that's a whole another another thing. But hey, at least it's not as bad as VTF edits. VTF, yeah, the VTF skins or model changes. I'm still learning. 